Alrighty, so today we are going to be rebuilding the Boston Red Sox. Obviously, the trade with Mookie Betts, which apparently has been put on hold due to some pending physicals. But we're going to redo or rebuild the Boston Red Sox without Mookie Betts. Obviously, with the addition of Bruce Dar Gretarol and Alex Verdugo. So let's see how this goes. I think we still got a good team to work with, some really good core players. I think just getting rid of some of those older players and getting in some better players, I think we're gonna be really solid. So if you guys are still enjoying these rebuilds, thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. If you missed last video, I did the Dodgers rebuild with Mookie Betts. I'll leave a link to it above me. And I'm using the same roster that I did in last video. So if you guys don't know which roster I'm using by now, you gotta go watch the Dodgers rebuild and figure out which roster that I'm using. So down below, all social media links, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, they're in the description. Go and give them a follow if you haven't yet. That's about it, guys. Let's hop into this Boston Red Sox rebuild. All right, so we're about to hit the offseason, and let's just see what we can do with this team because I feel like we've, we, like I've mentioned, we got a good core. We're going to have some money to spend now because we don't have Mookie Betts or David Price. So I'm actually kind of excited to see what we can do with this team because, I, like like I said, we're, we're going to have a lot of money. We're two and a half million in the budget right now. Um, I want to take a look at our, our budget to see who we're spending a lot of money on. Uh, Chris Sale, JD Martinez, Evaldi is a big one. How did he do this year? It wasn't bad, actually. So, you know what? We might hold on to him for maybe another year. Bogarts, <laughs> Rosny Castillo, yikes. Um, we got Jackie Bradley Jr. So, so some big money's being spent. But, all right, so 40 man, not really concerned if any of these guys go. Arbitration wise, I'm looking at the top three. I'm not really sure about the rest of these guys here i'm probably gonna let the rest of them go just the top three we're gonna keep um contracts wise i definitely want to offer everybody a contract uh, i think verdugo is gonna be our right fielder going forward um chavis i'm considering moving him to first base actually i know he played a lot of first base this year in real life so i think he's gonna be our first baseman devers at third and then the big thing is just trying to find maybe a new second baseman even though we still have dustin pedroia um because when you look at the team it looks really good um, ben Attendi is going to play left. Our DH is obviously going to be JD Martinez. Pedroia is going to be our second baseman for now. Chavis at first. Verdugo, I guess, could play center or right. He does have good fielding and like a decent bat. Um, so like overall, I'm pretty happy with the team. I just feel like maybe JBJ is a player we could look to move on from. He never really hits the ball well. And I feel like we have some players that we I would rather build around in Ben Attendi and Verdugo. And then JD Martinez just mashes anyway. So I might, I'd rather keep him. Definitely want to find a new fifth starter. Um, maybe get rid of Martin Perez as well. Maybe strengthen up this bullpen. So a few pieces I definitely want to look for. I'll see you guys at the start of the first season. All right. I said I wanted to get rid of Martin Perez. And that's what we're going to do to start the first season. We're going to trade him along with Kevin Ploiecki and Luke Norman for Daniel Mangden of the Athletics. Um, I'm just going to go sign a backup catcher now. Actually, we have a backup catcher and that's going to be, um, Oscar Hernandez. So we'll just, we'll call him up. As you can see, we're, we're a little low on catchers probably should, uh, bolster that position a little bit. See if there's anyone in free agency really quick. Um, we'll sign this guy up, sign this guy up. Um, any other younger catchers in the, in the free agency pool? Um, there were a couple players that interested me in free agency. Um, where is he looks like he got oh scooter Jeanette was one uh, but he's quickly decreasing in stats um this guy actually doesn't look too bad i might just sign him just to have him in the farm system just in case his potential goes up um, i'll show you the players that we did draft we had bernardo esquival who's like mid 70s potential we got pablo villalobos uh villalobos who's got uh i, I want to say like 83 potential uh, he was a pretty solid pick in the third round. Chuck Molina's got low potential. Um, I, I want to say like 81 potential, so low 80s potential. Really a good fielder, not necessarily a good hitter. And then we had Johnny Aguero, who is, I think, the highest potential player. And it was like 80, 85 or 88. And then we had Jaron McGowan, who was like in the 70s. So most of the players were either like low to mid 80s or high 70s for potential. So a decent, a decent little draft. It wasn't anything too crazy. Um, but it, it was okay. So for rule five draft, we pick up Kevin Quackenbush to help with the bullpen. And then looking through our free agency, there were a couple like minor league signings to fill out the roster. We brought up Andrew Liberto, or we didn't bring up, but we signed Andrew, Le Adam, Adam, not Andrew, Adam Libertor. And I think that was it for like MLB players. We didn't really have too many options in, um, free agency that 
interested me that too much that I wanted to bring into the team. So this is what we're gonna rock with now. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes, kind of test it out, test the waters type deal. And if it goes well, we can just kind of build on from there. Offensively, I love the team. I think it looks really good. Um, Mitch Moreland, I'm gonna give one more year because he actually had a pretty solid season last year. Um, and then this is gonna be our bench. The team looks really good. I like the Benatendi, Verdugo, Martinez, Bogarts. You got Devers mixed in there too. Like it looks really good. Um, budget, we're around a million, which I think is actually a pretty good spot. Um, we have Jackie Bradley Jr. We could probably let him go to be honest. Um, he does. He's not gonna play that much. And I feel like spending 11 million on a platoon player just isn't worth it. Um, Eduardo Perez, we'll see how he does. If he does well, we'll keep him. If not, we'll let him go. Definitely not bringing back Rusty Castillo. And then we'll see what we can do with the rest of the squad. So pretty happy with the team so far. Let's see how season one goes. All right, September, here we are. We're actually in a pretty good spot. Uh, 80 wins. Um, so about what I expected from us. I think heading into the season, we were ranked 12th. <laughs> oh, man. I was trying so hard during that whole little sentence there to try to avoid sneezing. But um, we're going to win 92 games. We're going to be a, a wild card team, which I thought that's what we were going to be. I think the offense was going to be something that carried us. And pitching is going to be the area where I want to improve on more and more as we do this rebuild. Strikeouts well. Uh, strikeouts well. Strikeouts were pretty good for Chris Sale. Um, also the most innings pitched. And then we'll take a look at awards. Gold gloves. Okay. And a Cy Young for uh, Chris Sale. So, okay, so far, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, we got, ooh, we were third in the division, too. All right, all right. So, let's take a look at pitching, see how it went. The bullpen for Austin Bryce. I need to get him in, in this area because this is where he he's a lot better rather than being a long reliever. So, we need to find a long reliever. Uh, Ryan Brazier was actually not bad. Who would have thought? Quackenbush is not coming back. Oh, <laughs> Hildenberger is pretty solid. Libertor struggled, so probably not a player I'm going to bring back either. Brandon Workman, maybe someone that we need to look to upgrade as well. And Matt Barnes is carrying this closing position so much. So the thing is, he's going down in ratings. So do we bring him back? Do we try to find a proper closer? That might be something we need to look into. Do we have anybody down here who looks good? Keith Hembry? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe Durbin Feltman? Like... I don't know. Pitching wise, we got our Cy Young winner, Chris Sale. Eduardo Rodriguez looks pretty solid. Eovaldi, I need to get rid of this contract after this year because he didn't do as well as he did last year. Daniel Mangda did well. Want to move him up. And then Bruzdar. Bruzdar. Yikes. He had A potential at the beginning of the year. We have to hopefully he continues to develop and gets a little bit better or maybe move him because I know in real life they're thinking he's more of a reliever because of his uh, Tommy John a few years back. So maybe we make him a long reliever and move him to that long relief spot and try to find a new fifth starter. That might be the, the move going forward. So here we go looking at our bench. It was okay. Dustin Pedroia is down to 68. I'm assuming morale has something to do with that. Not really. He's just decreasing in rating pretty quickly. Jose Peraza is probably a player I want to keep around as a bench bat, but we'll see what he wants as a contract. Benatendi, great leadoff hitter. Verdugo looked like he had a great year. JD Martinez hit, you know, close to 40 home runs like he normally does in franchise. Xander Bogarts is doing well. Devers did very well. Chavis is doing solid. Mitch Moreland is still doing pretty good. So I'm thinking that maybe we keep him around as a bench bat and then move Chavis to first now. Maybe move Peraza to second. That might be something that we could do. Christian Vasquez as catcher hasn't been doing terrible. And oh man, JBJ, of course you would do well. The one year I'm thinking about letting you go because we have Verdugo, Benatendi, JD Davis. I guess, I guess we could keep him if he's willing to take a pay cut. Cause I just can't, I can't get behind paying him, you know, 10, 12 million um, for this rebuild. So we're taking on the Yankees. Um, which I feel like this is a game we got to quick manage just because it's it's against the Yankees. So we're at Yankee Stadium. We're going to have Chris Sale on the mound. But I'm going to try to simulate this one pretty quick because um, if we end up going far in the, the postseason, I don't want to get stuck with this long first season because normally the first year, I, I kind of want to get through it quickly because I know two and three is when we're really going to have a strong team. So everything's going pretty solid. We're up 5 nothing, and uh, things are looking good. So let's just keep going. Let's keep going. 6 nothing now. Chris Sale's pitching a gem. Love it. 8 nothing after a home run by Christian Vasquez. Man, what is going on with the team? They're just going off right now. Taking it to the Yankees. Chris Sale gets out of that inning. 
no damage done can he close it can he just finish the game he does complete game shout out for chris sale that's what i'm talking about and we're taking on the rays now so what i'm gonna do is it's gonna be chris sale on the mound right no it's gonna be eduardo rodriguez let's put chris sale here and then go like that we'll go like that yeah so against the rays here we go game one we win game two we lost all right chris sale you got to get us the win he does we lose and then game five, we got to play this one for sure. Or quick manage, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let's go. Ooh, Eduardo got rocked. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to throw my faith in him. So let's see what the Rays have here. They got VR. That's a new addition. Tommy LaStella. That's a new one. We're down one nothing. We're down 2 nothing. So this might be this might be our demise right now. This, uh, this series against the Rays. 3-0. And uh, if Eduardo can get us like four or five innings, I'm cool with that. But he's done. He is done. Austin Bryce is going to come in. It is seven nothing. And uh, let's just go. Let's just go by half inning now because things are getting a little ugly. And it's we're not we're not even scoring. That's a problem. So yeah, it's uh that is a GG. It's looking like that's it. So ninth inning, unless we get a crazy comeback here. Which is possible. Seven to three. And that's it. Alright, so we have been defeated. It is off season time. At least we made it past the Yankees. We made it to, you know, the final game of that series. So, you know, steps in the right direction. Definitely steps in the right direction. So let's see what we can do. What do we have heading into the offseason? Does Super Joya retired, which actually helps us out. That's about five, six million we can uh, add to the budget. Exclusive negotiations jbj six million odds i'm cool with that i'm cool with that that's not bad if i can bump it down to like i don't think i can go too much lower we'll just do that that's 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 something i can work with brandon workman can't work with that and then mitch moreland wasn't as he was pretty close to what he did last year let's just do let's just do like a one-year deal 2.9 million and let the other two guys go i'm i'm pretty happy with that those aren't those aren't terrible contracts that's a lot better than what i was expecting arbitration wise let's go everybody just so that we have the depth in the like farm system if we ever need to call anybody up just in case we can't sign anybody I'm gonna give everybody a contract and i want to quickly take take a look at pitching because this is an area i want to pick somebody up to help us out because i want to move bruce dar to here maybe move austin bryce here actually do we need to yeah we need to get rid of libertor and quackenbush so we need two relievers and then a starting pitcher and then looking at the lineup it's going to stay the same except for chavis is going to go here and peraza probably go to second base so we need a bench batter too so some moves need to be made i still like the area we are with this team i think we're in a good spot i'll see you guys at the start of season two all right he started season two actually we're still in the off season but i'm gonna get rid of nathan e of all these contracts because i want to be able to afford a couple other players maybe make some trades to pick up some more like some more like mlb ready player type deals or so just it's just so we have some more money to play with uh we're gonna pick up thomas pannone of the blue jays normally i don't like to trade within the same division but he's one of the only players available in the offseason right now that I, I, I like like the looks of. I thought about a Dodgers pitcher, but I was like, we just did a Dodgers rebuild. Um, Robbie Ray is not really someone that interests me, even though he's actually having pretty decent years. And then I looked around at other pitchers and stuff like that. And I just really didn't like the options. I guess we could go Jose Quintana. He hasn't been terrible the two years that we've done the rebuild so far. We could do him. Um... But let's let's give Thomas Pannone a shot because he's young. He should develop as well, and that way we don't have to worry about you know having to re-sign him anytime soon because he at least has one more year in his contract. So Evaldi and Matt Hall for Thomas Pannone. All right, started season two. We've actually made some changes to the squad, and I like what we've done with it. So let's take a look, see what we did this off season. Um, we brought in Rick Porcello, brought him back, one year deal. Um, had a good year last year, 3.25 ERA, 1.27 WHIP. So we'll see how he does with this squad. I didn't do a two-year deal because I feel like I'd rather get someone really good for season three if it doesn't pan out. Obviously, we acquired Thomas Pannone from a trade. And free agency, we brought in Brad Hand to be our closer. We brought in Jonathan Scope to be our second baseman. I did say I wanted to use Jose Peraza, but I thought, you know what? Let's go Jonathan Scope instead. 
Um, Johannes Cespedes has been brought in as like a platoon outfielder, might get some game time as well. And I think that's it. Um, brought in some like free agents to fill out the minor league squad like I normally do. And then this is the team. I moved Bruzdar to uh, the long relief role, made him an actual long, uh, made him a reliever. So hopefully he'll start to develop as a reliever. Uh, brought up Hembry and Feltman because Feltman's stats actually look pretty good. They're like 60s and like kind of in the high 60s too. Um, the bullpen did really well last year. So I figured let's just kind of keep the ones that did well and get rid of the ones that didn't. And then our pitching staff currently looks like this, which I think looks really good. I like it. I, I'm, I'm a fan of what we're, we've been able to do. And then offensively, like I mentioned, not too much is going to change. Uh, just brought in Jonathan Scope and then Ioannis Cespedes as a bench bat. So the team looks really good offensively. Like I've mentioned, I really don't want to change too much with it. Jackie Bradley Jr. was really the only one that I considered, but he had a good year last year. So we might as well keep him around. Um, going forward, I think just the second base position is an area that I would consider trying to get someone really, really good um, to really improve the team. Um, maybe the catching spot if Christian Vasquez doesn't go off this year. But um, budget-wise, we're still around a million, so we're kind of crunched for money. And then when you look at what's coming up, we have Eduardo Rodriguez hitting free agency. Porcello's leaving if he doesn't do well. Scope's leaving if he doesn't do well. Um, and a couple other small contracts. So we'll have around like two, three million to play with um, in the like the budget category, which is really like, I want to say like 10 or something. So we'll see. We'll figure it out. And uh, season two, I definitely think we're, we're ranked highly. We're ranked seven. So we've got a good team. I have faith in the squad. Let's see how season two plays out. Alrighty, September time. We're still getting trade offers, but that doesn't matter. The team looks really good. We've already won 90 games. We're going to be hitting 100 wins, which I hope is the division. And uh, we won 102. 100. We we're a post. What? We're a wild card team. So how many did the Yankees win? 113? Jeez. All right. All righty. Um, league leaders wise, JD Martinez for hits and RBIs. And then Chris Sale with strikeouts. I'll take that. I saw Devers was number two for average. Okay. And then um, I also saw something else we were really high on doubles. No, it was, a, it was a pitching stat. So I want to get to the pitching stats because Brad Hand was second for saves. A role this Chapman had 64 saves. Jeez. All right. So let's look at a look at awards. MVP for JD Martinez, gold gloves, and then a Cy Young for Chris Sale once again. So he's he's just tearing it up. He's just the, the pitcher to look out for. So glad we have him on the team. Looking at Bruce Dar stats really liking him as this long reliever i think that's the spot for him austin bryce like i mentioned he's just kind of a glitch in franchise glad we put him in that long or that middle relief role that middle of the bullpen spot hembry did well feltman did very well yikes uh hildenberger did solid barnes is doing really good in that closer setup role that we've been putting him in and brad hand is solid as well so i'm liking our bullpen if we can do this for one more season we're golden looking at our starting Hold on. Let's talk about this for a second. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at these stats again. And we're gonna figure out that Chris Sale. That's right. Chris Sale is the Cy Young winner. Huh? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm so, I'm so confused right now. How is that possible? He's the Cy Young winner. Um Eduardo Rodriguez, very similar stats. Daniel Mengden did very well. I like to see that. Porcello did pretty well. Thomas Pannone didn't pan out. That's not good. That's not good. So starting pitching really was a letdown, and we still won 100 games, which is crazy to think about. Our bench, Oscar Hernandez. He's making a case for being a starter. High rating. Probably hitting really similar to what Christian Vasquez is doing, too. So, um, did they send somebody down? Yeah, they sent down Mitch Moreland. I wonder if he was doing poorly. Or he's just dropped. He actually wasn't doing bad. It's just he dropped in ratings, so they brought somebody else up. Um, Yohan Cespedes wasn't terrible. And then Jose Peraza was pretty pretty good as well. Um, ben Attendi still putting up pretty solid numbers. 16 home runs for the last four years. Incredible. Good amount of doubles. Uh, like to see that. Good average. OPS. Love it. Verdugo hit close to 300. 18 home runs. Solid. Solid bat. Um, JD Martinez was MVP for a reason. 50 doubles. 42 home runs. 137 RBIs. Crazy average. Good OPS. Devers right behind him, really solid season, really good average. Xander Bogarts is putting up crazy good numbers. Michael Chavis, got to respect those numbers. Jackie Bradley Jr., it's proving me wrong. Hitting for a good average, decent power, I'll take that all day. Jonathan Scope, not terrible. 
Um, but I think I'd rather spend the money somewhere else, maybe get a really good second baseman. And then Christian Vasquez, I think I'm going to let him go. Maybe let Oscar Hernandez take over as catcher. So budget wise, like I mentioned, we're still going to be in a good spot uh, heading forward. And let's take on the Rays again. So uh, before I do this, I got I to gotta take a screenshot for that Chris Sale thing. That's just mind blowing. <laughs> All right. I'm still kind of dumbfounded by the fact that Chris Sale won that. So let's go into this game. Chris Sale is going to, a Cy Young winner is going to take the mound. And hopefully we do just as well as we did in last year's wild card. But last year was against the Yankees where we actually tore them apart. And we're down 2-0. But we're back in it thanks to Xander Bogarts, which is solid. Um, let's take a look at their squad. So Justin Bohr is a new name, Kevin Smith. But it looks like a, a pretty standard Rays lineup. So we got guy in second, no outs. Cespedes wasn't brought in, which is disappointing. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can not lose this game as we are losing 3-2. And here we are. We're getting guys on. We're just always hitting into like double plays and just not getting the guy home. 3-3. Three, three, all runs are being brought in by Xander Bogarts. Like that's insane. Um, Cespedes flies out. Benatendi first and second now. Verdugo couldn't bring the run hunt. We're going to keep going with Sale. And that's it. He's done through eight. That's fine with me. I need a run here. Nothing. All right. We're going to take him out. We're going to bring in the lefty. Are we? We don't have another lefty. Um, let's bring in Barnes. Ooh, this is not good. He gets the out. He walks. And then he strikes him out. Ooh, that was huge. Can we walk it off here? Come on. Give us a hit. There's a... Okay. Nothing. Disappointed. Ah, oh, they had Biggio. I didn't even, I didn't even see that. Um, okay. So there's that. We're uh, in a bit of a pickle now. We're down four which is disappointing and we're gonna get knocked out we're done man it's just it's just we just can't do it can't get past that that little like that first round that wild card just can't get past it that's so disappointing um so no one retired let's just keep moving forward we got one more year to pull this thing all together jd martinez we have a team option we're gonna take it he's just too good to pass up matt barnes has been amazing we definitely need to offer him something let's do like a we'll give him a player option just because he's been so good and 5.7 million is not that much anyways eduardo rodriguez wasn't great this year um rick porcello maybe as like a, a four not terrible but like i'm looking at all these options and it's just like this how much does rodriguez want nine a year let's just make it ah man I'm gonna give him a shot. I'm gonna give him a shot. Porcello, maybe a one-year deal. No, we're gonna pass. We're gonna try to get some really good pitching. And then Jonathan Scope wasn't terrible, but I think we can get a better second baseman. Let's just move forward. Let's let's spend some cash this year. Ah, uh, so he declines his option in the end, which is okay. Cool. Um, let's just offer him stupid money i guess and then hope he signs because we need him in the squad he's like a huge part of our offense did he sign it he did not sign it <sighs> that's gonna be tough so arbitration wise offer it to everybody contracts is gonna offer it to everybody and then we definitely need to bring back jd martinez we need to figure out this bullpen get a couple starters there's some there's some moves that need to be made all right, Thomas Pannone didn't really pan out, and I've been looking for different pitchers and where to go with this, and I wasn't too sure, and, like, there's just not a lot that I'm, like, really interested in. Um, Luke Weaver's a possibility. Uh, we can definitely get him. We would obviously have to change a couple players. Um, Jesus Lazardo's out of reach. Um, and I'm, like, looking around, and I'm, like, I just, I'm not really sold on any of the pitchers that, are like good and possible to trade for that's that's another thing is like we don't really have much in the farm system to make trades so that's why we're kind of also limited to what we can pick up and it's just the choices are very slim that's basically how i gotta put it it's just it's not great andrew heaney can't really afford him i don't really know if that would be a player i'd want anyways um max scherzer marco gonzalez yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not really feeling a lot of these options. And so like, I've been looking at some of these Marlins pitchers, like Sandy Alcantara has been pretty solid for the last couple seasons. Eliezer Hernandez has been pretty good for the last couple seasons as well. 
Um, he's one that piqued my interest. So I might go for one of these two guys. And I just don't know who to go for. I'm going to go Sandy Alcantara. And then we can take him off the deal. And then just throw in Nick Decker. And that's going to be the trade. And hopefully Sandy Alcantara does well. If not, then... Oh man, that sucks, right? So this is the team. Um, Daniel Mangden, man, our two, three, four, five is kind of like meh. So we got Chris Sale, obviously. We got Mangden, Rodriguez, Alcantara, and Quintana. So everything's looking good. I don't know why Mangden's so low. I don't get it. Uh, our bullpen looks like this. Everything is pretty similar to what it was last year. Everybody pitched really well, so I didn't want to change it. It didn't make much sense to do that. And our offensive lineup, a couple changes. We got Castillo, Eduardo Escobar, who's going to be playing second base uh, for lefties. And then Danny Santana's coming as well. So when you look at this, the team looks really good. Um, I might even drop Jackie Bradley Jr. Just because Danny Santana's got better hitting stats. And I'm thinking that might be the move. He doesn't play in that lineup, but he does play in this one. Or does he? He does not. So, yeah, he actually doesn't play a lot. So this is the team we're going to rock with. I like it a lot. Like, we got power. We got good hitters. Oscar Hernandez is going to play catcher for us. We got Peraza at second, splitting time with Eduardo Escobar. Um, yeah, the team looks really good. I like it. I want to see where we're ranked. We got to be in the top. Yeah, top five for sure. And uh, I think we should win finally. I think this is a team that should win. Like I've mentioned, budget was a little constrained. This is probably the, the, the smallest or the, the lowest amount we've had in our budget. But it still looks really good. And I like the team a lot. So let's get into it. Let's see what we can do with this Red Sox team. All right, September time, season three. And um, it's it's kind of like where we were the first year, around 80 wins heading into like the last month of the season. And I mean, we should still make the postseason. We should be a wild card team. That's what I'm expecting us to be. An again, another wild card team. Just haven't really been able to beat any other team. And this should have been the year that we did it. Like you look at our squad. Uh, we, we dropped out of the top five. We missed out on the division by three games. Three games. Man, that's rough. So, J.D. Martinez had the best average and the most hits. And then Chris Sale was really solid once again. Maybe. We don't know. His ERA could be through the roof. So, let's take a look at awards. Triple crown for J.D. Martinez. Silver Slugger, MVP, and a gold glove for Andrew Benatendi. So, Jaime Berea got the Cy Young Award. Okay interesting interesting indeed so bruised dark kind of fell off um not as good as he was last year bryce is kind of the same thing not as good as he was in previous seasons same with feltman hembry was good hildenberger was good barnes was good and brand hand was good so we had a couple kind of iffy relievers um this could have been a guy we brought up jeffrey springs he actually looks pretty decent um but let's take a look at the starting rotation chris sale has been really good throughout this rebuild even though he had a four era last year still was solid mangden was decent um so yeah starting pitching kind of a letdown kind of a letdown fours high threes high whips yikes this is probably like the worst starting rotation i've had in quite some time so looking at our our squad jackie bradley jr yikes um eduardo escobar was okay 20 home runs though so it's not terrible um ben attendee 31 home runs so he like doubled his home run tally average dipped a little bit but home runs i'll take that xander bogarts jumped up to the number two spot in the lineup rbis went up home runs still about the same average went up doubles went up love it our triple crown winner jd martinez 1058 ops 340 average and 53 home runs those are just insane numbers rafael Devers got i mean that's that's a good season that's really good Verdugo, um, 266, cooled off a little bit, but the, the power numbers went up, 22 home runs. Um, doubles went down a little bit, but okay, decent season. Danny Santana, you know what? Splitting time with JBJ, not terrible. Michael Chavis, you know, he's been, the power numbers kind of went down, but like the average and stuff, kind of similar throughout the whole rebuild. Oscar Hernandez was okay, and then Jose Peraza had his worst year since we've had him. So it's unfortunate. It kind of looks like the team as a whole kind of cooled off a bit. Um, just wasn't as good as it was in previous seasons. So quick manage, season three. This is our last shot. If we can't make it past the postseason, like the first round of the postseason, it's just it's just a jinx. So Rendon, Trout, Solaire, 
okay um but looking at this team i'm not really like impressed by what the, the lineup had to offer maybe their pitching rotation is just absolutely insane as i say that we're down three nothing five nothing we're down five nothing um so as i was just you know saying that they don't look good we're down five nothing in the first two innings so i think that that kind of tells us something we're, we're still down two but at least we're we're back in it a little bit so chris sale at least ah man what is what is going on with him all right so back to a four run deficit offensively not getting anything done like at all which is a huge problem get some runs here no all right so we're down to our last two innings like here in the ninth and if we don't come up with anything we're this is kind of like a, a ruined rebuild even though i thought we put together a really solid team all right that's good we're down two maybe get a couple more here no all right um we're gonna take them out we're gonna go to barnes stolen base so put him in running a scoring position got out of it we're down two down to bottom nine that's not a good start okay we get a runner on a strikeout you gotta be kidding me seriously we lost in the wild card twice and then we got knocked out in the what ALDS in season one like pitching wise I thought it would have been so much better like you're looking at the stats and they're not terrible like we we have decent pitching the bullpen I thought really carried the team Barnes crazy good player throughout this rebuild hildenberger struggled the first season but season two and season three was really good picking up brad hand was a great addition um austin bryce was great throughout i thought we had like a pretty strong pitching staff it's just i think they really underperformed especially the starting rotation and then offensively like not a single hit from ben attendee bogarts jd martinez one from devers verdugo didn't get a hit we had one hit through our first five batters that game that's just not good like that's tough and like you're looking at this team this should have scored so many more runs than what it did so unfortunately we just couldn't just couldn't do it the luck wasn't with us this time and that's how this rebuild is going to end so i hope you guys did enjoy it thumbs up if you did hit that like button down below subscribe to the channel and turn on all bell or turn that bell note that bell icon click it make sure all notifications are on so you're notified whenever a video does go live and then in the comment section down below, let me know the team to rebuild next. All social media links are going to be down there as well. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, they're in the description. Go and give them a follow if you haven't yet. And on screen now, we're going to be uh, two videos, my most recent, and also one that YouTube recommends you check out. So if you haven't seen either of them, go and give them a watch. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.